This is your first year with the Miami Dolphins, am I right. correct? Yeah. Um, obviously, like I said, Brian Flores, you guys is you know, your former coach now. Mm -hmm. um, you guys, we talked about it right before you sat down, finished the season strong. I mean, at this point, do you think that there was a possibility of, of him being fired? And then what do you think about, obviously, now that uh, of the allegations of some of the things that are swirling around about, you know, throwing games, you know, him getting paid to throw games, things of that nature? Yeah. And how does that sit with you as a player? I mean, first of all, just like my experience with Flo was a great one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just in my first season in Miami, seeing the way that he goes about his business, you know, and he treats the, you know, the staff. He felt like he ran a tight ship, you know, and the, the players not only respected him as a coach, but, you know, he also, like, could relate to us in a way and, and mm -hmm. you know, had, like, a personal relationship yeah. with him. And we had a rough start. I think it was, like, one and seven. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of knew that, you know, it could go bad at right. that point. Right. You know, you start off with that many losses, and it was, it was, it was rough, so... Understood, like some guys, some people's jobs may be on the line, but mm -hmm. then finishing pretty strong, you know, right. we won, I think, like eight in a row. Like, you know, we ended up eight out of nine, um, eight out of nine, and, and we were balling. So, everybody, you know, I think in the locker room, we're like, okay, this is gonna, you know, flow's gonna stay mm -hmm. and we're gonna keep it consistent. Um, so, when he got fired, like, it was, you know, it was a shock to me, a shock to, to everybody, mm -hmm. I think. You know, I remember it was, I was coming into exit meetings. And I was driving in. It was a Monday after our, our last game. Mm -hmm. And I was actually driving in a little bit late because, you know, we had all uh, <laughs> we we lost. We out. Yeah, yeah, we been done, man. Season's, Season's over. over. I've got to be on time. I was I celebrated my ass off. All right. right. Yeah. So I was actually late to my meeting with Flo to the, in my exit meeting. Mm -hmm. So I was like, damn, man, this is a bad look. <laughs> Doing this job, <laughs> right. a bad look. And I pulled in and, and, like, walked in the locker room and he had everybody huddled up and was just like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm out. Wow. And I walked in and just saw that, and I was like, whoa, you know, threw me totally off. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, it was a shock, mm -hmm. you know. Tell the fans, from a player's perspective, you know, because they don't really see or get to hear the, the, the players talk about the coach. That it's an ex-coach at that point, and they're like, oh, they just go on the next year, and they go play for somebody else, and it's not a big deal, right? But listening to a lot of Miami Dolphin players, it affects you guys when b Flo got fired. Yeah, no, right. without a doubt. I mean, it shakes up the whole building, you know, because not only in the locker room where, you know, we've built relationships with each other and our teammates, but, you know, also the coaches, you know, from head coach down to position coaches and mm -hmm. people in the equipment room and people in the, in the training room. And when you take away the, the head guy, mm -hmm. you know, that just, there's a lot of uncertainty with everybody, not only, you know, the roster, but mm -hmm. also, like, that equipment team and that training team. They don't know what's going on, so mm -hmm. it's like, Dang, this whole year, for me, you know, the season of, you know, building relationships and getting to a point where I feel comfortable. Because, you know, it's, it's, that's so much when you get to a new team, you want to feel comfortable yeah. so y'all can all yeah. build together, you want to go win yeah. together. And then when you lose your head coach, it's like, dang, you just don't know what's going to happen. So I right. think more than anything, it's just uncertainty, you know, from right. a player perspective, not knowing what's next, and what, right. not knowing what kind of defensive scheme is going to yeah. come in, you know, who's, the, who's my position coach yeah. going to be. And just the identity that he, uh, that he brings. Yeah. yeah. So now you guys have a, a new coach, Mike McDaniels. Obviously, this is going to be a totally different, I'm sure, uh, you know, mindset, everything um, that you guys experienced, like I said, within your first year. And as you said earlier, you alluded to it, like you, you finished the season strong and you're now looking – you know, to next season, you know, having that way that you finished on, you want to transition and have that flow into the next season. You know, do you guys still feel that you can still do the same things? Obviously, like you said, once the head coach is gone, like I said, there's a lot of things that uh, that are going to change. There's a lot of uncertainty. Yeah. Yeah, no, we, I mean, we got a lot of talented guys in the locker room, you know, and I think that's that's number one. And mm -hmm. it was, a, it's a really young team, mm -hmm. uh, you know, young guys. Like, I came in and, you know, I was a six-year player, and I felt like I was, you know, the oldest in the whole building. Yeah, you know y'all I mean? young. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah. an OG, I'm an OG right. in there, yeah. you know? And um, so right. I, I think there's a lot of talent and a lot of uh, things to look forward to. And it'll be interesting, you know, not having Flo. Flo's a defensive-minded coach, right. right? And now Mike McDaniel coming yeah. in, you know, more he's offensive. more of an offensive guy, yep. which I think will actually be good probably for, for Tua and mm -hmm. his development as a quarterback. And, you know, I've seen both. I've had defensive coaches, defensive head coaches, offensive head coaches, and, right. you know, just there's a lot more focus placed on both sides. Yep. And so it'll be interesting to see how it goes.